My son ended up dying over this. Cynthia Dole mourning the loss of her son. 36-year-old Anthony Baker died in a hospital bed after a suspected overdose in the Thurston County Jail. It is not right. He was too young. Yes, we've all had our ups and downs, but 36 years old being an overdose of fentanyl inside a county jail. What is that saying about the county jail? They're not looking out for their prisoners. Dole says her son had a long rap sheet, serving time for robbery, theft, and additional violent charges. A man who did not receive a death penalty. But at least I knew where he was and he was safe. But now my son's dead. My question is, how are the drugs getting into the Thurston County Jail? Adding to the mystery, the jail says it hasn't hosted in-person visitors since the start of the pandemic just over three years ago. The jail reporting six total overdoses since the beginning of the month, two of them fatal. Baker, just the latest inmate to die. It's hard. It's hard. This is my firstborn grandson. 28-year-old Alex Nealon Herrera was one of those men. His grandmother telling King 5 he was awaiting trial on a robbery charge. You think he's in a safe place. He's in a jail. She too says she wants to know how the drugs got inside. Of the six that overdosed, the jail says four inmates were revised by on-site medical staff using the drug Narcan. Though for Baker and Nealon Herrera, Life-saving measures were not enough. Where are they getting it? This should have never have happened. That family says they're still awaiting autopsy results. The county jail says it will continue to work to intercept drugs before they enter the jail and says it will continue steps, which include full body scans. Meanwhile, Baker's mother tells me she plans on bringing a lawsuit against the county.